Hello GED students, it's GED question of the daytime, and today we've been asked to match each equation on the left to its solution on the right. Let me pick up my pen here. Okay, so match each equation on the left to its solution on the right. They're asking us with solutions to solve some equations. And real nice, because I'm looking at these equations on the left, they look like some pretty simple one-step equations. Sadly, there are not very frequently one-step equations on the GED. Sorry, guys. They tend to be four- and five-step equations. That being said, if we can't solve a one-step, we certainly can't solve a five-step. So uh, we are, you know, on our journey to getting that far. So let's take a look at number one. Number one says 3x equals 9. Uh, wh what does it mean to solve an equation? It means to get the letter alone on its side of the equal sign. So I'm trying to get this x to be isolated, to be alone. In order to do that, I need to get rid of the 3. Right now, the x is not alone because of that 3. Okay? You always get rid of numbers. You move them away on another side of the equal sign by doing the opposite of what's happening. Well, 3 all shoved up against x like that. What's happening? 3 is timesing by x. I'm going to do the opposite of multiplying or timesing. I am going to divide. The rule of solving is you can do whatever you want as long as you do it to both sides of the equal sign. So I'm going to divide the other side by 3 as well. And let's see what happens to our equation. What will our new equation be? On this side, multiplying and dividing by 3 cancels, so that x is alone. On this side is the math to do. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So the solution to that first equation is x equals 3. 1 matches with c. Let's try solving the next equation. Next equation says x over 3 is equal to 9. Now, before you lose your mind, because you think this is a fraction problem, remember what a fraction bar means. Fraction bar literally means uh, dividing by, divide by. So another way to think about this problem, x over 3 equals 9, is to say x divided by 3 equals 9. Once again, I want to get my x alone on his side of the equation, so once again I'm going to do the opposite. The opposite of dividing by 3 is multiplying by 3. I will enclose the entire left-hand side of my equation in parentheses and times it by 3. Now, the rule of solving is I can do whatever I want as long as I do it to both sides. So I'm going to enclose the entire right-hand side in parentheses and multiply that by 3 as well. My change is balanced. Let's see what my new equation will be. On this side, dividing by 3 and multiplying by 3 cancel so that my x is alone just like I wanted. And on this side, 9 times 3 is 27. Now my x is alone, I am done. So the solution to this is x is equal to 27. So 2 matches with d. A great, let's erase this here to give ourselves some room to work. And let's try the next equation. Next equation is a simpler one for most students. It says x minus 3 is equal to 9. Again, x is not alone on his side of his equation. Again, I have a 3 to get rid of. You always do it by doing the opposite. You always get rid of things by doing the opposite. So the opposite of minusing 3 is adding 3. Let's go ahead and add 3. Now you can do whatever you want to an equation as long as you do it to both sides so it remains balanced or equal on the left and right. So let's see what our new equation will be after making that change to both sides. On this side, subtracting 3 and adding 3 would 0 or cancel out so that x is alone. And on that side, 9 plus 3 is 12. And so I do get a solution of x equals 12. Uh, 3 matches with b. Um, last one, last one, let's give it a try. x plus 3 equals 9. Again, my goal is to get x alone on his side of the equal sign. Again, x is not alone. I, I have a 3 hanging out. i got to get rid of a 3. You get rid of uh, a number by doing the opposite, so the opposite of add is subtract, so I will subtract 3. Now the rule of solving is you can do whatever you want as long as you do it to both sides, so I will subtract a 3 from that side as well. Let's see what happens and what my new equation will be. Well, if I add a 3 and subtract a 3 on that side, those two will zero out or cancel out. All I'll be left with is the x. And on this side, if I take 9 and minus 3, I'll have a 6. The solution to that one is x is equal to 6. 4 matches with a. Great, so let's reiterate. Uh, 1 matched with c, 2 matched with d, 
3 matched with B and 4 matched with A. Great. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.